Good morning. Because every time I looked at you, think of motor cars, Pollyanna's ruined life. Yeah, well, do people fall off horses too, you know? No! How did you get in? It wasn't locked. You aren't answering the door. We're not receiving visitors. It's too upsetting. I had to know how Pollyanna is. Dr. Mead has prescribed various treatments and medicines, but he holds out almost no hope for her. Will you tell Pollyanna that I've seen Jimmy Bean and he's going to be my son and heir? Please say I, I hope it makes her glad. Pollyanna, I have a message for you from John Pendleton. He says to tell you that he's going to adopt Jimmy Bean. And he hopes you'll be glad to know it. Glad? Oh, yes. Now Mr Pendleton and Jimmy both have what they want. Mr Pendleton says a home needs the hand and heart of a woman or a child's presence. Oh, I see. Dr Chilton says so too. So I asked him why he didn't get them. A woman's hand and heart and have a home. Pollyanna. I wanted to know because he seemed so sad. And what did he say? He said he'd give all the world for one woman's hand, but sometimes you have to wait and wait until the person you love is ready. about your little girl. Well, thank you. She's much the same. You're not in bed. Just because I'm ill, it doesn't mean I can't get out of bed once in a while. Every 30 years. There seem to be lots of new buildings in the village. Anyway, we think it's so awful, so ghastly, that the little girl can't walk again and doesn't want to play the game ever again because she's so low that we wanted to tell her. Can we tell her? No, I'm afraid Pollyanna isn't ready to see anyone yet. Oh, well, you'll have to do. Will you tell her what she's done for us, making us glad about small things and so on? Especially Mother, who used to lie in the dark, week in, week out, frightening everyone. Shall I just send her your best wishes? Yes, please. Yes. Will you give Pollyanna a message? Will you tell her that I've put on this? The little girl has tried for so long to make me wear some colour. You know I've worn black ever since my husband died 18 years ago. So I wanted her to know that I've begun. And I was having trouble with the lady's aid, which wanted to switch Sunday school to a Tuesday, which somewhat defeats the point of a Sunday school. And I was sick at heart. So, I was composing an angry sermon denouncing everyone. When Pollyanna sat down with me and told me about the rejoicing texts, which is what her father used to call them. 800 or so verses in the Bible which begin be glad and rejoice. Shout for joy! <laughs> <laughs>
Your girl used to walk past my house and sometimes come in and play with my little ones. Well, cos she didn't know that her kind weren't supposed to call on my kind, except, of course, to uh, drop off old clothes and the odd Bible. And we've had a hard year, my George and me. But she always made us laugh. And, and she taught us the glad game. And, well, when we heard that she'd been fretting her life away, I wanted to tell her today that she should be glad, cos, well, me and George, we've decided to stick together. I will certainly tell her. Thank you for coming, Mrs. Payson. I prefer physical signs of affection to be kept embarrassed. Oh, never mind. Nancy? What? Nancy, is this absurd game the whole village is babbling about? So, for example, I don't like Monday mornings. I've noticed. Oh. Well, anyhow, Pollyanna said I should be gladder on Monday mornings than any other day of the week because it'll be a whole week before I have another one. I wonder why Pollyanna didn't teach me the game. Because her father taught it her. And you wouldn't let her talk about her father. Even though he'd so recently passed away and she desperately needed to talk about him. That was wrong of you, you know. Yes, I can see that now. It appears you are very much loved in the village, Pollyanna. You don't raise this matter lightly, Chilton. Of course not. I do believe that Pollyanna's condition can be improved. At the moment, from all accounts, she's listless and getting weaker. What does this treatment involve? Stimulating the damaged nerves by a series of... Will this mean anything to you? No, not a thing. Well, it's a new treatment, and there is some risk of causing considerable pain and the risk of reawakening hopes in Pollyanna only to dash them again. What are you doing? Walking in... Sorry. You live here. Force of habit. Come in. You like my new trousers, Dr. Chilton? Yes. They're very nice. It's not everyone who can look good in tartan. You're a credit to your new father. submit a child of yours to this treatment? Yes. It's not the worst thing being confined to a wheelchair, you know. It's only a chair. While there's still a chance that Pollyanna could walk again, surely we should take it. I need to see that child and examine her. <sighs> Has Polly Harrington replied to your letter? No. It was returned unopened. I suppose I could appeal to Dr. Warren directly. Yes, though I can't imagine him taking kindly to that. No, no. No, it's all a little awkward. You know what? If Pollyanna heard you say that, she'd sick up her lunch. Jimmy, go to your room. Which one? Any of them. She would, though. Why are you being so feeble? Who cares if it's awkward or the letter hasn't been opened? You think Pollyanna say, Oh, no, I'd just rather stay here and get used to sitting? What happens when she finds out you didn't give her this chance? 